Hello everyone, I'll be presenting today on comparison of documenting the treatment response to anti-VEGF in wet AMD, OCT angiography versus structural OCT. Myself, Dr. Shruti Ladha from Shanti Saroj Netrale Neeraj. As we all know, OCT angiography is a novel, non-invasive technology that rapidly images blood vessels in vivo. Studies have shown that OCT NGO is a significant tool to document CNVM and monitor its response to anti-VEGF. But none of these studies have simultaneously compared the ability of structural OCT and the ability of OCT NGO in documenting the treatment response to anti-VEGF in wet AMD patients, specifically in Asian population. So, the question arises, if structural OCT is available, do we really need OCT NGO for documenting the treatment response? The purpose of our study is to determine the ability of structural OCT versus the ability of OCT angiography in documenting treatment response to anti injection in wet AMD patients. We conducted a retrospective study with a sample size of 40 eyes recruited over a period of 10 months. Heidelberg spectralis was used for both OCT NGO and structural OCT. 40 treatment navies with active CNVM wet AMD were selected. Baseline OCT NGO and structural OCT were done for all these patients. Three intravitreal antivagif bevacizumab was given monthly. Monthly monitoring of treatment response by OCT NGO and structural OCT was done for three months. For evaluation of the treatment response, structural OCT criteria were reduction in subretinal and intraretinal fluid, reduction in height of PAD, reduction in number of hyperreflective spots. Here we can see the above image is of structural OCT prior to anti of injection where there is evident intraretinal and subretinal fluid, subretinal hyperreflective material and the CNVM complex. One month after giving anti of injection, there is evident reduction in both intraretinal and subretinal fluid, reduction in subretinal hyperreflective material, thus reduction in CNV activity. OCT angio criteria for treatment response was reduction in area of neovascular complex, reduction in number of anastomotic vessels, and conversion of immature to mature vessel configuration. Here we can see the first image is prior to giving anti injection, where the CNV complex area is 3.22 mm square. One month after anti injection, there is reduction in the area of CNVM complex as well as there is evident reduction in anastomosis and conversion of immature to mature vessel configuration. Following were the exclusion criteria. Non-EMD CNVM, other ocular disease which can alter the interpretation, example associated hypertensive or diabetic retinopathy, an inability to capture a good quality image, example in macular hemorrhage. We found that structural OCT detected signs of treatment response in 36 out of 40 eyes, that is 90% cases, whereas OCT NGO detected signs of improvement in 37 out of 40 eyes, that is 92.5% cases, which is almost equal. Statistical analysis showed that there is no significant difference in ability of structural OCT and the ability of OCT angio in documenting treatment response to anti of therapy. Coming to discussion, here we can see, in recent years, few studies published in some established journals emphasize that OCT angio is a very important tool in monitoring the treatment response. As per our knowledge, none of these studies have compared OCT-NGO and structural OCT simultaneously. 
In this study, with comparative a larger sample size, we found that there is no significant difference in OCT and GO and structural OCT in documenting the treatment response to anti-VEGF. So, the conclusion of our study is, though OCT NGO was more sensitive compared to structural OCT and documenting the treatment response to anti-VEGF injections, the difference in sensitivity was not statistically significant. Hence, we conclude that both structural OCT and OCT NGO are equally reliable to document treatment response to anti-VEGF therapy. On in wet AMD patients on which the treatment decisions can be based. Here are my references. Thank you.